Hey guys, Coach Mike here. I um, want to talk to you about over the next six weeks about our um, nutrition. And well, our goal for this six week program is for you to develop a healthy relationship with food. So that doesn't mean that we're super restrictive, that means that you get good nutritional value from your food and that it feeds you, that you enjoy it, and that you're not obsessing about it all the time, and that you're also not like staying away from completely anything or avoiding social situations or being the person in the corner who can't have fun because you're not enjoying um, your meals, your food, your, your nutrition, all right? So that is our overall goal. Just remember that as we go through this program um, that it's we're trying to develop a healthy relationship, something that you don't obsess about, um, but something that provides you with good health and wellness, all right, and energy and Honestly, a little bit of enjoyment. You want to enjoy your food. I, I get that. I want to enjoy my food. Um, so, we're going to start off with each week making a change that your one change, one small change, will use a whole week to get used to it. And then next week, we'll make another small change. This week, we have two things that we're going to be um, working on. So, I know I said one small change. This week, we have two. But it's easy things, so we can start off with that. The first one is fluids. I want you to be nice and hydrated. Water is the most important thing um, in our body. It's the only thing we really can't go any long term without. All right, so um, you can go longer without food than you can without water, but we do need water. All right, so what we're gonna shoot for is for our men, 128 ounces of fluids in the day. And for women, we're gonna shoot for 96 ounces of fluids. And again, I said fluids. All right, so I want 80% of that, so the majority of that to come from water. The rest, the other 20%, you can have any fluid that is going to make you happy. All right, again, because we're trying to find balance here. Not, I don't want you to obsess about it. I want you to carry around a water bottle with you for the most part because it's going to make it easy to always have that available. And when you start to feel thirsty, you're already slightly dehydrated. So we want you to just kind of consume it, little sips throughout the day. As long as that water bottle is around you, you'll consume, you'll find it pretty easy. I don't want you to save it all to the end of the day because then you're going to be going to the bathroom all night and you're not going to get a good night's sleep. We don't want that. I want you to try to spread it out throughout that day. The goal is that by the end of this week, consuming this fluid should be pretty easy because you'll be used to doing it. And that 80% of water, 20% could be other things. If you want to stick with calorie-free stuff, that would be great, like a black coffee. That's what I do. I have uh, two cups of black coffee in the morning. That's like kind of my go-to. And I usually sneak another cup in throughout the day. I try to limit it um, to not having too much coffee because if not, I will just drink coffee all day. Um, but I want you to try to have a little bit of that and then maybe some and a lots of water, all right? So that's gonna be our mission for our first big change that or small change that we're gonna make throughout this week. The next thing I want you to focus on <clears throat> this week is just the amount of calories that you're consuming, all right? So I want you to start off with the first few days I'm just kind of figuring out, well, what am I doing? What do I, how many calories do I normally eat when I follow my normal eating lifestyle that I'm doing, all right? So figure out what you are, and then I'm gonna post a little handy chart with this, um, or we'll email it out to you guys, or we, we have it totally available. And what we're gonna um, do is on that chart, you'll be able to look it up based on your, your, your size, um, how much you weigh, and uh, your activity level. Figure out roughly how many calories you should be eating. I don't want you to be so obsessive that you're like, I need to make, eat exactly 2,249 calories every single day. If it says 2,249, I want you to eat around there. I want you to try to be within you know, a few calories over, a few calories under. And that always get us starting to figure out, well, how much food should I be consuming in the day? A lot of times when people are trying to lose weight, they just under consume calories, which will work, will be effective in the beginning. You'll not eat enough food, your body will shrink a little bit, and then what'll happen is your, your body will be like, well, you're not giving me enough so it'll start to slow down your metabolism to try to match your body's expenditure with the amount of calories that you're giving it. Your weight loss will stop, you'll lack energy, you won't feel good, and we don't want that. So if we can pair these things pretty closely together, um, we know that one, you'll start to lose weight, you'll have more energy, you'll feel good, and that's what our goal is. So in the beginning, a lot of times people just aren't really sure how much food they should be eating, and this is why I use this calorie as a great guide so we can start to figure that out. Do I want you to obsess about counting calories every day for the rest of your life? No, that's crazy. I, it's, it's too much work, it's, I don't like to do it. Um, I just want you to start to figure out how much food you should be consuming so we can start to match those things together. 
next week we'll have some more changes. All right, some another little thing that we'll we'll add on to this. But this week again, just try to make sure you're getting enough fluid. And I want 90, 128 ounces for the guys, 96 ounces for the girls. 80% of that should be water. And then I want you to um, just pay attention to how many calories you're consuming and figure, uh, figure out how many calories you should be consuming and try to match those two things up just so we can start to see you know, how much I should be eating. If you're struggling with the calorie counting and all that, there's two great apps you can download. There's a whole lot of really good apps out there actually. Um, the most common ones we use though are MyFitnessPal. That works pretty well. As well as um, the new one that we really switch over to is the Better Human app. It works great if you uh, sign up on there. Um, you can take pictures of your food and it will, uh, like uh, chicken, and it'll be like, oh boom, chicken. You know, it's pretty easy to use. It's a little bit, uh, a little bit easier than, say, uh, um, like MyFitnessPal. But either one or another app is totally cool too. Um, and if you're struggling with getting those two things to match up well together, come talk to me or one of the other coaches or commanders here. We'll give you lots of strategies and techniques on how to do that. You know, figuring out, okay, well, if I'm supposed to have 2,200 calories, you know, maybe I start breaking some of that up into meals and go, each meal should be roughly this many in calories. Now, I personally don't do that. I have a smaller breakfast. I eat a really large lunch because um, that's what fits with my life and my schedule. Um, and then I'll have a smaller dinner as well. Um, and then some snacks throughout the day, mixing some things in there, some uh, protein shakes and stuff like that, which we'll talk more about later. But right now, all I want you to try to do is figure out how to consume the right number of calories for your day and uh, go from there, all right? If you have any questions, you can post them on the video here. You can hit us up on Facebook. You can email me, call the gym, any one of those things, and we'll help you with it, all right? Hope you guys are having an awesome day.